Uh, I'm Sudam Shbachu. Uh, I'm from Arcos Labs. I'll give you a brief intro about uh, Arcos Labs, uh, as most of you might not uh, might not have heard about it. Uh, hi, I'm Remington Breeze, uh, and I'm a software engineer at Acuity. Oh. Uh, you might be curious, what is don't let a bot in? I want to get creative so that I could get picked uh, for the lightning talk. So <laughs> that's the whole reason. Cool. So. Uh, about Arcos Labs, it's it's a security, cybersecurity company. Uh, why I'm sharing about Arcos Labs is like why releases are more important to us. What would happen if uh, releases don't work as expected, or if there is downtime? So Arcos Labs uh, has uh, protects its customers like PayPal, Microsoft, Adobe, Roadblock, Snap, and a bunch of other customers. Uh, it has multiple use cases. It, uh, it deters bots uh, from creating accounts or hijacking accounts, uh, protects uh, payment uh, fraud on the financial space, account takeovers, pretty much every site that has a login could use our application. Uh, new account fraud, like for example, if PayPal has a promotion for $10, somebody could create, use bots and then create accounts and then exploit that marketing. So that's where uh, our product uh, stops users by uh, with capture challenges uh, and data spots. If a manual user is creating multiple accounts, we have different rules and strategies to block those users with complex puzzles. And at uh, after a particular point, we deny them. So as you see, we have like very large customers like Microsoft, PayPal, Adobe, and others. They have very strong uh, observability platforms in their environment. So if our service goes down, they'll detect in no time. So whenever we do a release, we need to be confident that the release will go smoothly and it will not have any regressions. So that's where, uh, so we had multiple challenges. Uh, I'll share in uh, next slides and why we chose Argo CD uh, for our uh, continuous delivery. With all the amazing talks we had today, if you're not sold on Argo CD, so let me nudge you a bit more. So some of the challenges what we had, multi-day releases, I'm not making it up. Uh, as being a SaaS company, we had to make sure release to a region, test it thoroughly, then go to next region, then test it thoroughly. That, that took multiple days. Uh, because for a couple of reasons, because we were in ECR and something like blue green was not supported out of box. So the, the end result was like 50 different manual steps to be done to make sure that the release goes smoothly and customers are not impacted. Obviously, if you have a multi-day release with like six or seven people, you can imagine the toil on the developers like dude, release is kind of a dreaded day in uh, for everyone whoever was involved in that. So when you have a long release, it has an other side effect. The release velocity would be low because nobody wants to spend multi-day release and then you release once a month or once in three weeks. What would that result to? You will have more rollbacks because a lot of changes are going at once. There is a high probability that something would break. So you spend time in rollback. Then again, you have to do a multi-release. So that's kind of a snowball and a downward spiral. And other problem what we had was uh, building always, irrespective of whether it's a config change or whether it is a code change. Kind of goes to like different folders and don't build if your code hasn't changed. Uh, it's a config change you can release without building your image uh, as the, the code hasn't the, the code hasn't really changed for your, uh, to deploy a new image into your environment. So when we evaluated multiple, multiple products that are in the space, what we liked was Argo CD along with the rollouts. So one of the reasons, uh, so multiple reasons as we have heard uh, throughout the day, uh, very fast releases as soon as we make a change in GitHub, then the event is triggered and then you can deploy to all your environments. You increase the velocity. As things are faster, it has a positive effect on the developer's experience. Hey, I made the feature change, so let me release it. And the sooner we release, we are getting a better return on the investment. The time we have spent, it's already it's released uh, to our customers, and they are delighted. That makes everybody happy. Products is happy, engineering is happy, and developers are happy. 
and also GitHub's principles. So in some of the companies that I've worked before, there's a separate change ticket process. You have one level approval, two level approvals based on uh, the complexity of the release. We don't have to do that. GitHub already has protected branches. We already have things for code changes. So if you're doing a code release, why not use the existing process that's already there? And also increasing the, re increasing the release confidence. We can do blue-green deployment, test on the inactive stack, which is not like taking live traffic, and then promote uh, your next version N plus one to take live traffic. This increases uh, release confidence and reduces rollbacks. And with blue-green, we don't send any live traffic to it, so it's, uh, we are not affecting any, any customers. And the North Star we want to get to is mirror the traffic uh, from live to the inactive stack so that we get all the application metrics and then we, our confidence level increases in releases. Uh, one other aspect that we, we looked at Argo CD before uh, choosing that was, can it scale as our micro scale, microservices scale and as the company grows? Um, so that kind of checkbox on the Argo CD, it can scale horizontally just uh, as long as the infrastructure in which it's running scales, so it can scale. Uh, and also the observability. Yes, I think some of the talks we had like uh, from the Prometheus metrics and other, uh, that, that are exposed out of box with Argo CD. Like, how do I monitor uh, my, uh, my, I mean, the Argo CD service itself? Is it deploying or are there any bottlenecks? How do I get visibility if something is not, something is not working as expected? So being part of the release team, if something goes wrong, I have to work throughout the night until that's get fixed. But I need a starting point to where the problem is, so that's where uh, Argo CD helps by exposing its internal metrics and that you can look at. So all the features, so before even looking at Argo CD, we went through the requirements argument. Hey, these are the things that we want. You want scalable observability, and then blue-green deployment, canary, notifications, et cetera, out of the box. So that's uh, the value proposition. That's what I saw with Argo CD, as Pratik said in the keynote today and yesterday. Argo CD was looked at as a product. It's not somebody put it together. Hey, this feature looks good. This feature looks good. Okay, let's make a, an application out of it. It was thought like a product. There's a single sign-on uh, integration to it. It integrates with Active, uh, Microsoft Active Directory. That's what we use. I was surprised. Really, we use that, and then you already have an integration for it, so it can't get better than that. Uh, drift, drift management, so GitOps, as things change, that's our source of truth. Then our environment uh, would be in sync when we do an auto-sync enabled for applications. Uh, metric analysis, as part of rollout, it integrates with Datadog, where we can do the metric analysis. Um, and release it. Uh, I think we have two more minutes. Okay. Uh, so blue green canary out of box Slack notifications. So as I said, we had a checklist where a developer would say, "Hey, I'm starting on US region one. Do the deployment." And then one more Slack sends one more Slack message saying, "Hey, we finished on US East one." That's not good use of time, and that would not be accurate because the deployment could happen anytime. So when that is integrated with uh, as part of the. Uh, Argo CD deployment, then you know that the action happened pretty close to the message that, that was sent out. Uh, Multi-cluster support, one Argo CD can deploy to any number of clusters, uh, so you don't have to log into multiple UIs. Uh, command and control for SREs, uh, if a pod is misbehaving, SREs can just restart or, I mean, delete, delete the pod in production. That's, that's a lot better than getting the credentials from AWS console, updating your credentials file, and then connecting to cluster, connecting to the namespace and deleting, and somebody could delete it from a wrong namespace. And it's open source, so it's an easy sell to finance team. Um, all right, thank you. Uh, so I'm going to speak a little bit about Acuity's partnership with Arcos Labs. Um, so as Sudamsh mentioned, um, they have very high requirements for um, uptime with their product, and Argo CD helps provide that. But in addition to that comes a higher standard, um, and Acuity helps uh, them achieve that standard. Um, so Argo is a pretty complex product, um, and with that comes a lot of configuration. Uh, and at Acuity, we like to think that we help our customers squeeze all of the value out of Argo. Um, so, yeah, uh, some of what we've provided. Um, when Arcos was having difficulty configuring the Rollus extension, for example, for the Argo CD UI, um, we helped them to do that. Um, and then on top of that, we just have a lot of uh, knowledge here at Acuity about Argo because we are a, a company of maintainers and experts. Um, so we bring all of that knowledge and, and help our, our friends at Arcos. 
Um, and then uh, we also launched last week a platform that makes it easy to configure Argo CD um, with out-of-the-box uh, benefits such as security and cost reduction uh, on top of all of the OSS features that you guys know and love. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys. Cool. Thank you.